spoke to Anne before. She said that a present came for Minnie this morning and she thought it was from me because no one else knows where she's staying, but, but it wasn't. That'll be Glenn. Which is why this needs to end now. What about forensics? It would just look like he's had a fatal heart attack. There won't be any need for an autopsy. But after yesterday, he's not going to let any of us within an inch of him. Hey, well, we could do it at his birthday party at the pub later. We just wait until he's not looking and then spike his drink. But what if he realises what we're up to? Jay Johnson tried to get rid of Glenn and look what Liam did to him. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I mean, first, we need to work out which one of us is actually going to do the deed. We're all good women. None of us want blood on our hands. <laughs> so what? The plan's off? No. No, we have to do this. There is a way. I presume you're all familiar with Agatha Christie. Yeah, the woman that works at Price Slice on the weekend. Really? Even I know it's an author. Whatever. In Murder on the Orient Express, the big twist is that Hercule Poirot is looking for one perpetrator. But it turns out that all the suspects attack the victim. Go on. So? What if all four of us poison him? That way it won't just be one of us that has to live with what we've done. We'll all be culpable. And that disgusting, hideous excuse of a man will be out of our lives forever. What do you say? Let's, Let's do it. Do it.